Del Ballard defeated Curtis Odom in the first match, 205 to 202. Then in stepped Kelly Kaufman, and with a flourish at the end, won by a, a pen, 213 to 212, eliminating Dell. Kaufman then, another strong finish, defeated George Branham the third, 202 to 183, and now goes against uh, multi-champion, PBA Player of the Year twice, Leto Monticelli. Both players, the deep inside line, a lot of power, trying to swing out that 10 pin. Here we go, championship match. Not quite, leaving the 2-5. And this is the way, Kelly's got a pattern, I think. He's sort of loosey-goosey <laughs> early in the match with, his, with himself, his body, the way he moves around. And then at the end, he really concentrates. You're right, a likable guy. Ooh. And he's done that before, too. Robert, what advice could you really give Kelly? I know he's bowling for a title, but he has really struggled with spares in a championship match. Well, I notice in Kelly's game, a lot of times he'll shoot spares straight and hard at him, and a lot of times he'll hook at him, and uh, I think he needs to go one way or the other. Good point right there. To get a definite game plan. Now, here's the player of the year trying to win his second championship of the year. <laughs> Leto Monicelli, Barquisa Maito, Venezuela. Mm. The style of Amleto Monicelli, that open hand, very similar to Mark Roth when he was going so well, then the tremendous wrist action and wrist, and he's using a very soft ball speed. Look at how wide he's swinging it, and all that oil, he has it found a way to overcome that heavy oil condition, and do you think he's made the right move, uh, Robert? I think going with a softer surface ball is gonna get him there because the shiny balls are just skidding out. Good point. Second frame. He's been a factor all year after winning player of the year titles consecutively. Fourth TV this year, first at Quaker State, fourth at Bud Light, fifth at the Leisure Long Island Open. Going against this exciting non-winner, Kelly Kaufman. Hmm. Big trouble here, the 4-6 split. And he's going against Oma, o Monicelli, who has started with a double. The only thing he can do here is just throw at one of these two pins and hopefully bounce something out of the pit. Got to have any pace on the ball, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about 22, 23 miles an hour. And you know, an effective strike ball, Chris, has to be rolled between 16 and 19. Right now, Kaufman, up near that 19 miles an hour, hasn't been very effective. Monicelli, down around 16. Now, if you go less than 16, the ball wanders. If you throw harder than Kelly Kaufman's throwing, the ball doesn't take the natural break of the lane. And here we have a 2-4-5 in the left lane for Kelly. Kelly with two victories coming into the final. Two, four, five. All he has to do is get the ball in this area and just drive the two, five out, taking the four. Remember, this is his combination he chopped in the first frame. Now 29-year-old Amleto Monicelli at 5'8", 950 pounds. Double up shooting in the third frame of this championship game of the True Value Open. Well, there goes our last chance to give a check for $200,000. Monicelli with a really bad break here, an unusual 4 5 8 split. All he has to do is get the ball right between the two pins and hopefully take out the pins, but it's unusual. You've got to forget about the eight pin and go for the four five. Ooh. What do you think, Robert? A power player doesn't leave that very often. I left that spare a couple of weeks ago and uh, had no clue of how to shoot at it, and he did it the right way. Power players very seldom leave spares or splits like the 4, 5, 7, the 4, 5, the 5, 7, or 8, 10. Monicelli shows that he's got all the shots in his bag. He leads by 29.
leaving a four pin. And Leto, who finished second six times before he won his first title in Japan. Talk about concentration, dedication, perseverance. A little tired now, he told me, and uh, was going to take a week off uh, after the U.S. Open. His wife, Teresa, has gone back to Venezuela. Big Kelly Kaufman left a five in the fourth frame marked with a spare. Now here in the fifth has left the three, six, ten, struggling in the championship match against Amleto Monticelli. <laughs> Sitting in with uh, Bo and me, uh, last year's true value winner from Austin, Texas, Robert Lawrence. Robert, the deep inside line looks like the best shot. What do you think, pal? I think it's the safest shot to the pocket. The ball speed looks very critical today. Good point. And Leto Monticelli described to us earlier the problem he experienced here in Peoria in 1989. Well, uh, that day when I came to the bowling center, I went to look for my bowling balls, and they weren't there. So I started panicking. I didn't know what happened. And uh, when I found out, they sent it to the next stop, which uh, I don't know. I mean, it just uh, felt really bad. And I had to drill two bowling balls that day, and uh, they didn't really feel good. They were dull, and uh, the lanes were hooking. And I mean, everything was uh, terrible. I just uh, I didn't know what to do. I was uh, scared. And when I, when I went to ball, I said, well, do the best you can. but. Uh, it wasn't enough. I mean, my mind wasn't relaxed at all, and I lost the game. Okay. Well, Chris, uh, all the bowling balls for most of the players are transported by uh, our player services director, Larry Lichtstein. Mm -hmm. And once again, Monticelli was uncomfortable with the two new bowling balls. That's very understandable. And Leto, who was second in a U.S. Open, fifth in a PBA National, really looking forward to next week. Hoping you know, to get that major. You're right. And look at the difference in the lanes. You saw Monticelli average 261 on this championship here. And Kelly Kaufman, a deep inside line, going around the ball return. Yeah. His first strike in this match coming in the sixth frame. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> a point to make here, you can use as much of the approach as you want on any particular shot as long as you don't interfere with a player on your left or right. So uh, Kelly Kaufman using the full approach, the extreme inside line. But as you said, Chris, this is where he starts to make his move, and it's mm -hmm. imperative he does it right now. He has never been 32 pins behind, and it's Monicelli as the opponent. Big frame. As we said, relax early and gets with it later. And a little help, Robert. A lot of help there. Oh. Watch this pin action off the right-hand part of the screen. It's the three-pin goes to the sideboard, takes out the four-pin. Unusual strike. Kaufman's back in the match. <laughs> 